So you've got moving to Maine on your mind. Have you made your list and checked it twice and still not sure if you thought of everything? Well, as a native Mainer myself, I have made a list. So let's compare and see if you have all the information you need to make that move. By the way, I'm Amanda Collins. And if you have any questions about the market in Maine, or if you just have any questions about real estate in general here, I'm just a phone call, text, or email away. All right, so I have come up with five pros, three cons, and one that could go either way. Just depends on your perspective. So let's jump into those pros. All right, the first pro on our list, and that is Maine is a really, really beautiful place to live. Um, we have our coastal regions and several islands that provide miles of sandy beaches and just stunning views of the ocean. Um, we have several beautiful clean lakes. Um, we have lots of charming mountains and trail sides to explore. Um, we do celebrate all four seasons here in Maine. So you have the, you know, the beautiful bright green colors of the grass and the trees and all the flowers in the spring season and in the summer. And then coming into fall when the leaves start to change color, the foliage is just absolutely gorgeous. And then coming into winter, we have that white sparkly snow. We keep our state quite clean so you won't see much litter or debris in the roads and most towns usually have a recycling program as well. All right, number two on the pros list, outdoor recreation. So from some of what I've mentioned above, um, you know, between our ocean and the lakes, um, it provides lots of opportunity for swimming, boating, jet skiing, kayaking, canoeing, um, you know, any of those water sports that you can take part of surfing, um, as well as like paddle boarding, kayaking. Uh, so definitely lots to do on the water here in Maine. Um, there are also several great spots to fish. Um, we have several trails to hike and bike and, you know, you can ride four wheelers and dirt bikes on them as well. Um, and then of course, snowmobiling in the winter is very popular here. Um, we also have a few small mountains for skiing and snowboarding. And when the lakes and ponds freeze over, um, they're great for ice skating and playing hockey. Okay, number three on the list, and that is we have really exceptional schools here. Um, we have, you know, starting from the preschool level through high school, there are several excellent private and public school options. Um, we also have some highly ranked colleges here, such as Colby College, Bowdoin, Thomas College. Um, we have the UMaine school system, as well as Maine Maritime. Um, so while, you know, these school systems are so highly sought after, that's part of what makes the market so hot in a lot of these places. All right, number four on the list, and that is food. Um, we have become quite the foodie area uh, with like high level cuisine in several areas. Um, Portland has many exciting and eclectic places to dine at. Um, Agunquet has restaurants for like incredible Italian and Brazilian and seafoods. Um, probably one of the best lobster rolls I've ever had was at Footbridge Lobster in Agunquet. So check that out when it opens, hopefully in the spring. <laughs> um, and then, um, you know, even Biddeford has, you know, their name on the map recently with just some like really interesting and delicious options for food. All right, number five on the pros list, and that is the commute or accessibility, which is super important to me because I like to get places easily and quickly. And for, you know, most of the coastal towns in Southern Maine, um, you know, they have their own exit right off of Interstate 95. Um, Portland, which is our big city, is only about an hour from the New Hampshire border, and it's just about two hours from Boston, which, you know, provides very easy access if you're commuting to one of those places, um, or, you know, if you just need to travel in general. Um, we also have an airport, Portland Jetport, and it does fly into a lot of like the bigger hub airports, you know, and like New York and Washington and, um, you know, Atlanta. Uh, there's some direct flights to Florida because we do have a lot of residents that split their time between Maine in the spring and summer, and then they'll go to Florida for the fall and winter months. Um, you know, we also have an Amtrak sta uh, stations, the Down Easter, and that goes from Brunswick all the way down to Boston, which is a really cool option if you are going to Boston for like a concert or a sporting event. Um, it brings you right into TD Garden, well, right into North Station, which then above it is TD Garden. So it's a really cool option to have here. All right, now for the cons. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Okay, so number one on the con list, and that is seasonality of work. So lots of businesses here, especially in our coastal towns, um, you know, they really depend on the summer months and, 
you know, those, um, that money coming in from tourists because we are a tourist destination. And you definitely see a difference in the amount of people here um, in the spring and summer versus in the fall and winter. It definitely slows down. So, you know, a lot of retail shops and restaurants will actually close down in the winter um, and just, you know, kind of regroup and then open up as it comes into spring. There are also certain types of work that just can't be done in certain seasons, you know, like, I mean, people in jobs such as landscaping, um, they can't be mowing lawns in January when there's snow all over the ground. So, you know, they have to find an alternate job to sustain them through the winter months. Um, so, you know, you just have to consider your line of work and if, you know, what you do, if this sort of climate area would be a good fit for you. Okay, number two, and that is places close early or they aren't open every day. And, um, you know, this is kind of a funny one because I just had friends who recently moved here from Las Vegas. And of course, Vegas is open, you know, 24 seven. And they were telling me that they were trying to get a pizza at like eight o'clock at night. And wherever they were, there was just no places around that were open. So that is something to be aware of here in Maine. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty typical for a lot of restaurants to close around that seven, eight or nine o'clock. Um, you know, and nine o'clock is even kind of pushing it. That's more like a weekend hours. Um, our bars are open until one, which I know, you know, that's a little bit earlier than some of the other places like, I know, in Boston, they're open until two. Um, so just something else to, to consider about that as well. Um, and also another thing that I don't think a lot of people are aware of, um, but it's just a law that our state has is you can't buy alcohol before 9 a.m. on a Sunday. So just to be aware of that as well. Um, I don't see any of these as deal breakers, um, but it's just, you know, kind of inconvenient and just good to be aware of. All right, number three and our last con on my list is we do not have any major sports teams and we don't really attract any big concerts here. Um, so let me explain that. So we're just, you know, smaller, we're not as populated and um, we do have some minor league affiliates that play here, such as um, we have the Portland Sea Dogs who play baseball and we have the Maine Mariners who play hockey as well as some other smaller affiliate leagues. Um, we just don't have like a major sports team. So a lot of people here, you know, cheer for Boston sports, Red Sox, Celtics, Bruins, Patriots, um, you know, and that requires a trip down to Boston if you want to go see them. Um, the other thing is, as I mentioned, you know, we don't really attract very big names for concerts. Um, that again is like another trip to Boston. We do have like a decent local art scene and, you know, and like good bands and um, things like that, but it's just, you know, if that's something that's really important to you, uh, that is just something to take into consideration. Okay, so let's wrap this up with our two for one, and I'm interested to see how you guys will rate this. So let me know in the comments what you think, what, what side you wanna be on. Um, and that is, of course, the weather here. Um, so I am mostly talking about the snow on this one um, during our winter months, which is December, January, February, into like the first half of March. Um, you know, it gets cold. We are generally between like 20 to 40 degrees on a typical day, um, can get a little bit colder at night usually. Um, we do get several snowstorms throughout the season. Um, however, we do tend to get less here on the coast um, versus they get more inland and up north. Um, you know, but this can lead to places closing or places closing early or school getting canceled. And, you know, and sometimes if school gets canceled for the kids, well, it doesn't necessarily mean that work gets canceled for you. So then you're in a situation where you have to also find childcare as well. Um, you know, another inconvenience of it is if it snows and you have to get up or you have to be somewhere, you have to get up early. Um, you have to either shovel or snow blow your driveway. Um, if you park your car outside, you might have to clean off your car. Um, you know, just things that are kind of inconvenient and that you just have to allow for more time. Um, you know, another thing with that is if you um, are not able to, you know, maintain, do snow maintenance, um, you have to hire that out. So then you have to wait for them to come and plow your driveway. Um, so it's just kind of like, you know, it's, I've had to do the snow removal thing a few times off my car and it's just not anything that I like. Um, but all right, so let's flip that around because 
you know, there's a positive side to this too. And that is all the winter activities that you can do. As I mentioned, we, you know, we have mountains so you can ski, you can snowboard, um, you can go tubing, sledding, um, there's uh, skating and playing hockey. Um, you know, you can even build a snowman or have a snowball fight. So there are lots of fun ways to make use of the snow. Um, and as I mentioned, you know, sometimes school gets canceled for the kids, um, but you know, it can also, work can also get canceled for the adults. It doesn't happen often, but it does happen sometimes. So that can also be a fun snow day for the adults too. Um, and, you know, again, this is all just based on your perspective and how you feel about it. Um, so thanks for joining me. I hope this list was helpful in your decision-making process and shedding some light on what it's like to live here in Maine. Um, reach out to me if you have any questions about real estate or the market here in Maine. Um, as I said, I have my contact info below. I'm just a phone call, email, or text away. All right. Thanks for joining me. Take care, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.